So it's Samhain, that very potent and important time of the year. And I have in my hands uh, the only copy that I have so far received of my new book, Mythical Ireland, New Light on the Ancient Past, from the publisher, the Liffey Press, in the past week. Uh, the rest of the books are on their way to Ireland, I'm glad to report. Uh, so I'm just going to read a very, very short section of the book to you, just to give you a tiny little flavour of it. Um, I don't intend to read much. I want you to actually go out and buy it if you really think that it's the sort of thing that you're going to enjoy. In the introduction, I explain about how the idea for the book stemmed from the Mythical Ireland website, which was established in March of the year 2000, which is now six, 17 and a half years ago. And of course, the title and subtitle of the book are taken directly from the website. So it's www.mythicalireland.com or mythicalireland.ie. And the title and subtitle have always been Mythical Ireland, New Light on the Ancient Past. So when I ran this idea past the publisher, he thought it was a great idea. Uh, there was so much material that had either been published as blog posts or articles on the site, and so much more that I had written that remained unpublished as draft chapters for planned books or for future posting on the website, that I felt bringing it all together in book form would be a great idea. And so, thus, the, the idea for the Mythical Ireland book was actually born. Uh, so it's a collection of work that I've written over the past three or four years. Some of the chapters are quite scholarly or academic. In others, I find my poetic voice. It strays from the scientific into the metaphysical and back again. And uh, I do say it at the end of the introduction, I sincerely hope you enjoy the journey as I have done. So I'm going to read a very, very short clip from a uh, segment, uh, should I say, from the epilogue. The very last uh, section of the book, which is one of these sort of um, philosophical and reflective uh, sections. Unsurprisingly, we find that Schiedenbroga encompasses the duality of countable calendrical time and also the notion of eternity, something beyond time. Around its border are giant slabs of shale forming a huge ring around the base of the cairn like a belt keeping everything in place. Walking around the cairn, Jeshel or Sunwise, not Withershins. We count stones like counting months or lunations, reckoning time by three-ton monoliths. Maybe there's supposed to be an incantation, some utterance or prayer or p petition at each stone on the round. I make no such utterance. I prefer not to process in a processional way, but rather to lose count or not to count at all. And becoming distracted by ancient artwork, I wonder if, with the wobbling of the Earth's axis and the slowly changing positions of the stars, I should rather be processing in a precessional way, not a processional way. Either way, Newgrange is not a giant set of rosary beads. Do not impart the repetitive strains of a contrived prayer at the curbside at the Sheed of Mac and Oak. Angus Oak does not want to hear your monotonous utterances. He wants you to follow the stones to see where they lead. Some of you will find that they lead nowhere. Perhaps some of you will find that they lead everywhere. Some of you will find yourselves, as I have done, going around in circles. And in doing so, a whole year might feel like just one day, or, as in the story of the begetting of Angus, maybe nine months will seem like a single day. Be careful if you are counting stones to make sure you don't get the same number the second time. That's one of the secrets of the stones. In the counting of time, it's interesting that the curb of stones around Newgrange is unbroken. It could be said that the curb is unending. If you walk Jeshel around Newgrange, where do you start and where do you end? If you process and progress processionally around Newgrange, you merge calendrical countable time with eternity. You can count stones as days or weeks or lunations or years. But unless you choose a starting stone and a finishing stone, you are walking towards eternity. That, my friends, is all you're getting. Mythical Ireland is available, well, will be available very shortly in all good bookshops. 
don't forget, if you want to pre-order a signed copy straight from me, you can do so at the website mythicalireland.com. And if you're in Drogheda or the environs the, in the Boyne Valley region or in Ireland indeed, or indeed if you want to come from abroad, the launch is being held on Friday the 24th of November at 8pm in the High Lanes Gallery in Drogheda. And I'd love to see you there.